Deion Sanders on the sideline. Lafleur goes in motion, and Aikman's back to throw it. And then the second thing, they are very tough in there against the run. They, they, they hold that point, they get their secondary up, they gang tackle, they strip, they go for the ball. They just met the block by Larry Allen and knocked him backwards, and that doesn't happen very often. Flag on the play. The Giants are going after the Cowboys. I mean, they uh, sacked Troy Aikman on the first play. In that previous play, watch the center here, Pat. Quay Shiver, he just gets knocked right into Emmett Smith. And there's big old LaFleur in the backfield, tight end. Aikman in the end zone gets it out to LaFleur. Yesterday, we spoke to defensive end Michael Strahan about the way the New York Giants defense sets the tone of the game. Whenever you go into a game, you can't sit back and, and wait for a team to do something and react to what they, they're going to do. You just can't sit back and let them get the first shot on you. I think we have to go out. We have to establish ourselves. We have to run our defense and let them worry about what we can do. Not let them run their offense and let the defense worry about what they're doing to us. And uh, anytime we establish that and we establish it early, it seems to carry over to the entire game. Aikman. One back set. Aikman back to throw. Been pretty good. Harrison Hamilton in the middle. And they get a push up the middle, you see? And that and that flushes right there. That flushes Aikman battle every time they play. Pass is batted up in the air. Incomplete. He was funny talking about uh you talking about Strahan and Eric Williams talking about the, the Cobra move. Yeah, he says he has a Cobra move where he just backs up and then he puts his hand straight up above his head and brings his whole 330 pounds down on you. And he says if he ever gets you with that, he said, you need a chiropractor the next day. But if he ever misses, then you get a shot at the quarterback. Yeah. And that's what he's hoping for. LaFleur over to miss. LaFleur is the man in motion. That's Stepford Williams, the man on the move. And here's Aitman back to throw. Gets it outside. Strahan went right to the official. Here's Michael Strahan. Here's Eric Williams. And hey, you watch, he's going to get, Eric Williams is going to get Strahan right up under the neck. You see him? Right there. And he's going to lift him up. And then he's going to take him and just pound him to the ground. And then he's going to try and take that shot and put him <laughs> on him. But that's a Cobra right yeah. there. The Giants, of course, the NFC East champions. But you should check your local listings for the game and time in your area because we don't know where we go. We just know we'll be doing a game somewhere next weekend. <laughs> Look at Eric Williams. He's going over there to the, the sideline, man. He's, he showed him. He's telling Nate Newton. He said, I got him right up under the throat, and he said, I put him right on the ground. The Giants are doing all those things in this first quarter. Here's Aikman. He has really been something special. He when comes you over with him. Excuse me. He comes over again with Michael Irvin. There's a little uh, Nicky Suolua. <laughs> Jesse Armstead. <laughs> That's some accomplishment. And when you reflect on it, get all over the field in their pursuit and gang tackling. Aikman back to throw. Yes, it's he gone. completed a pass. Michael Irvin. Aikman back to throw. Just trying to step up to. And the thing, you, you can't have any penetration coming right at your quarterback. You see it there? So it's not going to get you anything except being home for Christmas. That's right. Here is Aikman back to throw. The one battle that's been going on the whole time, though, is this Eric Williams and Michael Spray. And just let's look at some of them here. I mean, that's that's the one that we remember. I mean, he tried to put Michael Strahan away on that play. Uh, and again. Well, no, he's trying to play. I mean, they're just mauling each other. It's a major collision on every play. And I remember a couple of weeks ago, Eric Williams was talking about the toughest guys that he plays against. And, of course, he mentions Reggie White. And, uh, you yeah. know, Eric Williams is from Philadelphia, and he grew up, you know, admiring Reggie White. But he also mentions Michael Strahan. Yep. That Michael Strahan is one of the toughest guys that he plays against. Third and nine. Stepford Williams goes in motion. Aikman back to throw the blitz coming. Aikman gets it. 
Anthony Miller. Ball on that time because they have to come down to get the blitz. Strahan gets free, but Aikman gets rid of the ball. Well, Strahan has a free shot at him, but Aikman, because of the blitz, was able to get rid of the ball and get it to Anthony Miller. That's why Troy Aikman is Troy Aikman. I mean, he knows that he has that pressure, and he and he knows that there's a free man coming on him for a second. But you can only have one guy in motion when the ball snaps. First and 15, Aikman back again. Pass is almost intercepted by Seahorn. It is intercepted. The illegal use of hands. Number 79 on the offense. Hands to the face. Eric Williams. The yeah, this is a matchup that we've been watching right here, and they finally got him the hands to the face. You see right there, he's okay. I don't know. There it is right there. Yeah. It's that right hand to Strahan's face, although Strahan is pushing Eric <laughs> Williams. Or, but they, they were moving the ball a little. Aikman back to throw. To Anthony Miller. Miller. Boom, they just all get to the ball. Play and it's complete. Emmett Smith. I think that's going to be the battle we've been watching, Pat. I think that's going to be against Eric Williams again. That hands to the face. That'll be the second time that they got him on Michael Strahan. I think Strahan was smart enough after he got it the first couple mm -hmm. times to tell the referee about it. Illegal use of hands. Number 79 on the offense. Hands to the face. 10 yard penalty. Still second. That's the second of those. Tony Hudson, by the way, is playing left guard. And now watch, you see, you see the first contact is pretty good, and then he gets that right hand up there. He finished him off. The finish off is they, they, they get him up there on the shoulder pad. It's all right. Aikman throws complete. 20 to nothing. That's Emmett Smith who slipped down at the line of scrimmage. Or maybe a little short of it. I tell you, every 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 time there's a, a play over, there's a, a extracurricular skirmish between Strahan and Eric Williams. You know, we knew that they were going to go after each other, and they went after each other this whole day. Eric Williams got his guy, and he's going to take them wherever he goes. Eric Williams and Michael Strahan are, yeah. are making. They're making a, 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 a street fight out of this thing. They put on Michael Irvin's doing a good job. Yeah. These are the NFC Pro Bowl selections from the Cowboys. Eric Williams, the tackle we've been watching today. Deion Sanders is in there. This is the Giants, Michael Strahan and Jesse Armstead. So happy. But well, on this side, it's wonderful. Yeah, and that's what it's all about. I mean, uh, you, know, you know, that's why you play. I mean, what a job this man's done, Jim Fossil. Winning 10 games with this team is amazing. Michael Strahan, what does it mean to the New York Giants to get this victory to cap this kind of a season? Uh, big. I mean, uh, especially going into the playoff, we need the momentum. But not only that, we haven't beaten these guys since 89 in Dallas. And um, this is who everybody has always measured themselves against. And to come here and win in Dallas, I mean, we can't ask for any more than that. Lots of emotion on that field today. A lot of emotion, you know. Um, guys, we fought all, hard all year. These guys have played hard all year, and um, it boiled down. We were looking forward to this game at the beginning. And to come in and win this at the end of the season, it, matter if it, it doesn't matter if it counted or not, we're, we're extremely happy. What do the Giants have to do to make a real run in the postseason? continue to play well. I think the first units went out today and played extremely well. And the longer we can keep that going, I think we got as good a chance as anybody else. Michael Strahan, thank you very much. Thank you.